Well, good evening, brothers and sisters of the hook. There's Big John down there in that red hat. Maybe that's a maybe that's a Trump hat. <laughs> They're going shrimping. They're going shrimping. We're going shrimping. We've heard from our one of our buddies that the shrimp may be starting to run. What's the matter? Oh, <laughs> it is anxious to get going. Cool. And we are going to go out and catch us some shrimp, we hope. We're getting out there bright and early. Let me undo this. There we go. Let's make sure this motor still works. It's been a while. Ooh, that, that Yamaha. Yamaha. Ooh, that Yamaha. Yeah, 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 Yamaha. All right, let's go, Big John. I'm surprised that boat floats. So you were pretty set on that particular brand. Yeah, I look, for, I look for the Rogue. Yeah. I think Charlene. I think Charlene got her used car over there. Sandy. Well, I tell you, that hurts. Happy. Well, I'm yeah, sure the dealer, but they do you right. But uh, she felt she got a very good deal. Well, okay. So far, there's one, maybe two boats up there. And that boat right there, that's not bad. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least nine boats that way and more coming. So looks like the, uh, the Armada is heading out to go <laughs> shrimping. <laughs> We're just waiting for the sun to go down and the first jumping shrimp to jump. And it's a beautiful night and I got a feeling there are gonna be mosquitoes a biting. All right, five lights, one on the outside, one there, because a piece of weed, one right slam in the middle on the bottom, one over there, and that one over there is actually outside the rope over there. I use the Y configuration, the anchor is way out there, and as the rope comes up, I put two lights on, and that's, they're about halfway down, so we're in about 12 feet of water, so they're about six, seven foot down. But those three lights right there are on the bottom. And so as the shrimp come down through the middle, they, you know, they kind of like to get pushed up because of that light in the middle there. And if possible, we will record. Get pushed way up. Yeah. What? We will record them as they're coming Jump through. In the boat. But I mean, there's probably 20 boats out here now. Whereas I had a report that there was like two boats out here last night. I guess the word got out. All right, we'll get back to you in a bit. Okay, there's a couple shrimp. See them, folks? One, two. Got them both. That's a double. Uh, we've not been doing so good. That was the first double that I've got with one scoop. John's got a couple. Um, we were doing pretty good. We were doing fair until this guy right up here in front of us. John just got another one, decided to pull right in front of us. And when you're shrimping, you quickly realize that rudeness knows no bounds when you're shrimping. <laughs> People will pull right in front of you and they don't care. But we're getting a few and we might move in a little bit, try to get someplace where there's not quite so many rude people. They start running good, it won't make much difference. Yeah, if they start running real good. They have to start running real good, though. Got him. Scooped him up. John and I just caught a couple nice big fatties. Mini lobsters. All right. John's going after that one. I'm going after this one. 
on this horse. The salty kayak got his, but he missed a couple just a little bit ago. Some nice ones. We've had to move. Um, that boat cut us off and you know, they were dipping like crazy, I guess, and we weren't dipping because they was getting all our shrimp. Mm. Let me whine a little bit. I need some cheese with my whining. But we've moved and we found some shrimp, and that's what counts. There's a big one down there that I can't get to. You probably can't see him because he's down in the uh, too low. It's kind of cloudy. The water's kind of cloudy. I think that's the way the shrimp like it. So it's not that easily observed. Oh, I hear one back there. Ooh, there's a nice one, John. Did you get him? John got a nice one. Okay. All right, come on. I don't know if you see him or not. He, there he is. Got him. Got him. Hear him? Hear him fussing there, folks? See him there? Fussing? They're just coming one here and one there. I think there's one out there. But at least there's nobody cutting us off now. I'm a happy boy. Some jellyfish floating by. Little debris. Crab every once in a while. All right, brothers and sisters of the hook and of the dip net. Big John and I got home about 11.30 last night. We pulled up our um, lights and anchors about, oh, maybe 10.45 and headed for the ramp. And it was a an absolute circus at the ramp because there were so many boats out there and it was so crowded and everybody wants to leave at about the same time when the tide stops and the shrimp stop. Anyway, this is my haul. Right there at that line is a gallon, so looks like I got a total of a gallon last night. Maybe a fat gallon, but that's a gallon right there to that line. And some of them are nice size, look at that, look at that, that's a big boy, that's a big shrimp. And as you can see, I put them in the refrigerator um, with... A, um, covering over them like this because they're alive and they'll flip out because I learned my lesson found a found something that flipped out one day and decided I better put something over top of them so I put a plate over top and that keeps them from flipping out because they are still alive they're in suspended animation because they're so cold but you cannot deny they are fresh <clears throat> so here's what I do when I'm cleaning shrimp, this is my way, and not necessarily anybody else's way, this is just my way. This is called a shrimp deveiner. comes in two sizes that I know about. A small one, I don't like them, and the bigger ones, which is the ones that I use. And I use a knife. Some people use a can lid. Uh, some people just use their hands. But this is what I use. Boom. Okay. And I throw the ones I'm going to keep in here for cleaning. Boom. John got about the same amount. He might have got a little bit more. I think he actually did get a little bit more, maybe a gallon and a quarter or so. Uh, the shrimp are all going to John. Ha! <laughs> Seemed like it anyway. But he, uh, he needed some shrimp because he hadn't had it some since way last year. As you can see, and a lot of people say you need to keep uh, your heads to make broth out of, and I don't, or to chum with. Sometimes I'll chum, I'll take them out with me and chum them. These are browns, these are whites. We were catching them both last night. Um, and as you can see, the whites seem to be a whole lot bigger than the browns. That almost looks like a tiger shrimp. That's a different kind of shrimp right there. We're getting a kind of a mixture of shrimps. And if I see anything strange and different, I'll uh, I'll bring it back and show you. 
I'll bring it back and show you. I see things are different. Also, if you're doing like five gallons of shrimp, um, when you're when you're cleaning them, a lot of times this this little pick right there will stick in you. So you need a glove for this hand. But only a gallon. I'm not going to use a glove. Okay, I might get back in a little bit. Okay, got all the heads cut off. Get everything separated out and this is going to be for eating I would say three meals maybe three three maybe four not three meals um, and this is the result of a gallon of shrimp and the wise fisherman will take his smaller shrimp and bag them up to convert them into fish later on use them as bait so that's what these three baggies are for. This is bait for future fishing. Now I'm going to begin to uh, I'm going to freeze these up. Just put them in the freezer. I'm going to begin peeling these, and I'll show you how that works. Okay, you got your old shrimp here, no head on it, and right there is the mud vein. It's called a mud vein. I don't know what it's really supposed to be called, but you're going to slip it. Your deveiner. And you see this is where that little spike right there can get you if you're not paying attention. No gloves. Push it up like that. See how that peels away? Boom. You got a shrimp right there. Boom. Drop that in there. Take this. Slide it off. Drop it in there. This is a little bit smaller one. I like to use the bigger deveiner. It just seems to go a little bit better. Boom. See there? Like that. Once you get in the groove, it goes pretty fast. See, it peels the the outer skin, the outer hull, the shell, just peels it right back. Boom. See there? And then you roll it out so that the legs stay with the shell. Victory belongs to the Lord. There we go. A nice shrimp, man. Nice shrimp. Right now, there's one, two, three, four, five. Now, you imagine how much you pay to go to the store to buy these? Wow. And these aren't shipped over from Taiwan or Vietnam. These are home caught, fresh. Super good, tasty. Look at there. Mm mm mm. I want to fill this up probably twice. Alrighty. Okay, this is the second bowl full of shrimp, peeled shrimp, and I froze one up already. Put some salt on this one. I want to use just a little bit of the top layer here. I'm going to cook up tonight and have that for supper. And the rest I'm going to freeze up for special occasions, like when the grandkids come and the kids and the grandkids come. Yeah. Oh, man, look at this fresh. Caught last night shrimp. Look at that. Use a little bit of Old Bay. A little bit of Old Bay. Some butter. And some olive oil. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Make sure they're cooked through. Heck, I might even give one to my wife. This is Valentine's Day. I, I'm going to give one to her. <laughs> All righty. Okay.
Oh man, so good. Incredibly good. Mmm, butter. Mmm. How am I going tonight? I need to catch some more of these. Mmm. Thank you, Lord.